Hey friends. So I've been getting this question a lot from my girlfriends as of late, and you guys know me with you guys. As soon as I'm getting this question quite often from girlfriends, it's time I'm gonna share the information with you guys, because I'm sure my girlfriends aren't the only ones wondering, curious, or looking into this kind of thing. What's the question I've been getting a lot of lately? A lot of my girlfriends as of late have been asking me what it is I do for my skincare. Now, I'm no expert. I have tried a lot of systems. I've invested quite a bit of money in skincare over the years. And I am pretty lucky to genetically be somewhat gifted in having nice skin. My mom is a redhead, which means I get that nice porcelain, smooth, even complexion from her. Unfortunately, it also means I get the sensitive, very pale skin from her. <laughs> and with no tanning, haven't been tanning, not doing the tanning thing since, you know, I got these redone. Don't want to irritate those scars because you're supposed to keep the scars out of the sun for the first year. So I have been doing some different experiments with my skincare and have found some new awesome great products I want to share with you guys that are my favorite. Now I did do a video like this quite a while ago. So this is kind of like a new version of that. Now I have in the past tried Obagi, their new derm system. I really enjoyed their new derm system. It was really great, really amazing products but I did find it caused my skin to flake and peel quite often, and it was really expensive. So it became kind of a deterrent, and I wanted to switch things up because I found it was making my skin quite sensitive. I have tried Dermalogica, really love a lot of their products as well, really great products, but same with the Nubaji. I found it was quite expensive for what I was getting. I wasn't quite certain if I liked products, I would buy them, spend a lot on them, and then, you know, it wasn't really like, yes, this is amazing. I then found out about a company that I've really been loving their skincare. I started with just a couple few products and have slowly been switching all my products over to them. That is The Ordinary by Desium. The Abnormal Beauty Company is the other name they kind of go by. I'm loving their products for a wide range of reasons. So to start with, I find all their products are quite gentle amazing results, do exactly what they say they were going to do, are non-irritating for my sensitive skin, which is huge for me. And even more importantly, they're anywhere between five and eight dollars for any one product. That's it, five to eight dollars. Literally, how could you go wrong? I first started with just the few odd products that I wanted to experiment with, and I kind of felt safe to experiment because at five dollars, if I didn't like it, I haven't broke the bank to get it, so who cares? I tried it out, didn't like it, I can just get rid of it, find a girlfriend who wants to try it instead, and move on, no big deal. As it turns out though, I haven't moved on, I've kept them for myself, and I've basically converted at least three to five of my girlfriends into using these products, which is great because they're all loving the results that they're getting with them. So I'll break it down for you, starting with step one. So step one for me is always my gentle cleanser. I'm still using my Obagi Gentle Cleanser and my toner, only because I enjoy the Gentle Cleanser and toner, and I found that The Ordinary doesn't actually have a true, just general toner. So rather than switch over to some other product that's gonna be more reactive for my skin, I like to just stick with the basic for this, especially because I have off and on over the last few years had bad skin. I've had a bit of adult acne, which has been quite upsetting, but I've got it under control now and now I'm noticing that with these products as well as keeping up with making sure I'm washing and doing my full skincare twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, I've really noticed a huge difference in my skin since back in March when we got locked in for the pandemic. That was one of the things I set aside for myself was the rule for myself that I wanted to make sure I was going to do good skincare twice a day, I was going to go through all the steps no matter what. That was my commitment to myself on my skin and it really paid off, like so happy, unbelievably happy. <laughs> so I use the Aubergine New Derm, their gentle cleanser, and then I use just their regular toner. These I get on Amazon, I think they're about $25 each or I buy a bigger container of it and just fill the little ones because these are easier on my bathroom counter. Once you cleanse and then you dry your skin with a towel, then I use a mister bottle or a little uh, cotton ball and I rub the toner all over where I've washed, let that absorb in. I then move on to my Neocytamin 10% Zinc 1%. So this is from The Ordinary. This is really great and kind of my like, hey, little product. 
this guy helps to your helps your acne and your breakouts to clear up faster helps the skin to heal faster from uh, damage and helps to reduce the redness irritation and swelling around any breakouts or irritation on your skin this has been a game changer for me i use it day and night and i love it just love it i think this has made a big difference for me because it wasn't until about march that i started using this and from then on, my skin has been phenomenally way better. I'll usually let that soak in for about a minute to two minutes because you want to give enough time between your neocytamine before you use your vitamin C because they sometimes can be reactive with one another. Next, I move to my vitamin C. Helps for collagen growth, helps for free radicals, and helps for wrinkle and dry reduction. Now, I love vitamin C. I use it all over my face, my neck, and my hands, and sometimes even my decollete, which is my chest. Now, I don't have the ordinaries yet, but when this bottle is empty, I will be switching. My girlfriend uses the ordinaries vitamin C, um, and she says it's fabulous. She's in love with it. I've been currently using the OZ Naturals vitamin C. It contains vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, rose hip, and green tea. All really great items for your skin as well. I really enjoy it, but I just feel like mixing it up. I think I'll probably use the Ordinaries next and then maybe switch back to this every second bottle, every third bottle, just because it's also good to kind of switch things up a little bit. That way your skin's not getting used to what you're constantly using and stops responding. Once that's dry, I will then use my lotion, which is also from The Ordinary. It is the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA, Surface Hydration Formula. I love this stuff. You don't need a lot. It goes on nice and thin, absorbs in, makes my skin feel healthy, plump, highly moisturized, but doesn't leave my skin feeling oily, sticky, or like I've got all this stuff on. It's really, really nice. I have not found a lotion that I really loved for quite a while now. This was phenomenal when I found it. Like, wow. And this is about $8 for this. How could you go wrong? <laughs> The other product that I'm absolutely in love with from them is The Ordinary, the Caffeine Solution 5% EGCG. It reduces the appearance of eye contour pigments and of puffiness. So this is instead of an eye cream, it's an eye serum. I just put a little on my fingers, rub it on the upper and lower, and then just leave it. This stuff is, this stuff is magic. Magic in a jar. <laughs> Literally magic. This, I used to find from the eyelash growth serum I use, that I would get really red around my eyes and kind of slight puffy in the morning, which was annoying. The redness was all day, the puffy was just kind of in the morning. This stuff I started using and within a week I saw a huge difference. S such a reduction of the redness, puffiness was gone, the skin looked healthy, happy, moisturized, and just amazing. This stuff, yet again, I think it was only like five to eight dollars for this bottle. This is liquid gold. I'm not joking like new favoritest product of all. <laughs> now I also use an eyelash growth serum and I get asked this a lot too. I use IMV. So I use IMV over Latisse or anything like that because Latisse is super expensive. Latisse was very drying and irritating for my eyes. This I find is non-irritating. It doesn't make my eyes super red like Latisse did and it doesn't cause pigment issues if you have lighter colored eyes. It also is more reasonable in price. I think it's about $85 for this little tube. This guy lasts me about eight months. So totally reasonable and totally awesome. Other than that, I do use a salicylic acid 2% solution from The Ordinary. And I use this like a spot treatment. So if I have a blemish on my skin, I'll put a little bit of this on my finger and just dab it on there and let it dry as a spot treatment. You can technically use it all over if you're having like mass breakouts, but I prefer not to just because I find it's very drying and flaky for my skin because my skin's quite sensitive. That said, when I have used this all over the majority of my skin, I don't find I'm that reactive to it. When I've tried salicylic acid lotions or cleansers in the past, my skin has freaked out because of them. So this, my skin does not freak out from. It gets a little bit red. If I use it too many days in a row, it kind of gets a little dry, a little bit flaky, but that's about it. So it's super gentle, yet very effective. And that's my current skincare. Not a lot to it, just pretty simple and pretty easy. 
I also do the occasional at home facial, which I just have a couple different masks that I'll do, usually just for exfoliation and hydration that will help my skin kind of be happy throughout the winter. And that's been kind of something fun. I've started doing every other week kind of idea. That way it's giving me a little extra like, ooh, me magic time during, you know, being stuck indoors and dealing with all the added stress that 2020 has been. So I hope that helps you guys. If you're looking for some new skincare, I highly recommend trying The Ordinary. All their stuff reasonably priced. And as I said earlier, if you're not really into it, oh, well, you didn't waste $20, $50 on a bottle of something, you wasted five. <laughs> so not so bad. But also keep in mind, if you guys do switch up any of your skincare to any of this stuff that I told you about today, please keep in mind, only change one item at a time. Even though you might order it all, start start simple. Start with like the cleanser toner or start with just the vitamin C or something simple, just one at a time. Give it a week or two just to see if your skin has a reaction. That way you know what product you're reacting to. If you just switch all of it, you won't know. Also, keep in mind, if you do switch up your skincare, anything you switch on your skin that you're putting on on a regular basis, it can cause you to break out. So keep in mind that that's really normal. And that will happen in the one to two week range as well. You might end up with a minor breakout. And what it is, is just these products are pulling out different dirts, minerals, and such out of your skin that your previous products were not. So be prepared for that. Don't get too bummed when it happens. Just accept that, oh, well, this just means the products are working and move on from there. That's it. If you still are breaking out after like week three and four, maybe that's your skin telling you that, yeah, you're having a reaction to that product. Don't use that product i.e. that's why you should wait and try one new product at a time. So I hope that that helps and I hope that you guys are going to be having some soft, silky, awesome skin because I mean at least that's one thing we can do for ourselves to dedicate over the next winter pandemic indoor activities that is going to help you feel radiant and happy with you. I hope you guys are doing well. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you think that you're going to rock your socks out with me, which I think that you will. <laughs> the videos on the screen are also some epic fun things that you guys will like, so click on those. Good things will happen. Chat with you soon. Bye.